error. Data is increasing at an unprecedented rate. Data is everywhere. And if you know how to utilize the data, then you can be the wisest man or the wealthiest person in this world. Well, we are not here to talk about the money, but we are here to talk about how to secure a job in the data field. And for that, we are going to talk about the role of a data analyst. A data analyst extracts the information from the data and perform the different kinds of other analysis on the data. And if you know how to do or how to utilize the data, then you can inform the business decisions. So that's why a job of a data analyst is very important and critical for any organization. No matter which industry you are working on, a data analyst job is the securest or they are. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to become a data analyst and what are the key skills required for a data analyst. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. If you are all here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also do share with your friends. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. skills, soft skills, and also some tools and technologies. And what are those? We are going to discuss one by one. First of all, tools and technologies. So in this one, you are going to need certain tools and technologies that you can utilize to analyze the data. Number one is the visualization tool. So for that, you can use Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, or maybe you can utilize the ClickSense. So it depends on your own preference. These are the three market leading tools. But again, I will suggest you to start with Power BI, which is easy to use and which is very popular. This is a tool which is market leader for several years. In this part of tools and technology, the number second comes your programming language. Start with SQL because SQL is the only language that interacts with the data and it helps you to extract the data from there. But you can also start learning Python. Python is another very popular language and it is easy to learn. So please start with these two languages. Another language is R language, as I mentioned, but it's an optional. It is mainly used for statistical analysis, but Python is the all-rounder one. Now you know what visualization tool and the language you need to use. Now it comes about the database and data warehouse. So please start learning these concepts. Here you're gonna learn what is the stored procedure? What is the table? What is the database? What is the database management tool? What is a data warehouse? How do we store data in the data warehouse? Everything you're gonna get to know in this part. So these are the tools and technologies that you need to focus to become a data analyst. Now, you have to start step by step. I suggest you start with first learning about the fundamentals of database and data warehouses and then go with the data visualization tool and then with the language. Also, you can reorder them according to your own choice and you can take time to learn them. Now, next part is statistical analysis. Over here, you are gonna learn the hypothesis, regression testing, statistical analysis, etc. Statistics is very important. Please learn at least basics of statistics if you want to pursue a career in the data field. And not only that, if you are gonna go one step above where you want to enter in the world of data science, then also it's gonna play a very important role. Now, we are gonna move one step further where we are gonna learn about data wrangling. And what is data wrangling? Data wrangling is basically extracting data from the different sources. For example, you are gonna get a data from a website, but this data is right now not ready to use. So you have to make it ready to use. You have to clean it, transform it, and process it so that you can utilize or store in a database and then start utilizing according to your own need. Once you have learned all these steps, another important part for a data analyst is machine learning. It's not necessary that you have to start right now. Once you have a lot of experience, maybe two years, three years, then you have to start focusing on machine learning too. Machine learning is a set of different tools and technologies where you are gonna perform and create the different models. You are gonna test them and you are basically gonna learn from the data. So based on the data, you are gonna predict what's gonna happen in the future. This is a very important and exciting area where you can also start making your career, but this is optional. So I won't say that you have to go, but if you already have enough experience in the data field and you are working for the last couple of years as a data analyst, then you can start focusing on it. Now, once you have this, then you have to also learn majorly what is ETL or what is extract, transform and load the data. This process is very important. For that, in the market, there are different tools as well. For example, you can start using Power Query as well, which is the simplest level 
when you have to extract, transform and load the data at a certain destination. Or you can start utilizing the Azure Data Factory. Or maybe if you are coming from the background of Microsoft BI tools and technologies, then there is SQL Server Integration Services. So you can also use that. Now it comes about the domain knowledge. Domain knowledge is very important. If you have no choice, if you are already working in a banking domain or healthcare domain, then please start focusing on that. You can also start learning knowledge of different domains. For example, right now I'm working in the healthcare industry, then I can also learn about the banking industry. For that, I can go through the several documentations that are available online. Or you can also start learning from a friend of yours who's already working in this industry. But domain knowledge is very important. And if you have to be a subject matter expert, you should have the complete knowledge of that domain. Now, if you're going for an interview or if you are applying for a job as a data analyst, then every company expects you three different set of knowledge as well. And what are these three different sets of knowledge? Well, it would be your critical thinking, problem solving skills, and also how you pay attention to the details. So if you don't know about that, you can even search via Google or via Bing, but I'm sure you know what is the critical thinking, what is the problem solving, and also how to pay attention to the details. You have to always focus on the requirements, and then you have to analyze the situation and the problem, how long it's gonna take, and how can you solve the problem. You have to always do your work, as I always recommend you guys, even before asking me or approaching anyone else. You have to do your homework, you have to do your research, so please focus on these skills too. There's one very critical part for a data analyst or data visualization expert or a BI developer, and that is storytelling using data. And what is that? We all love stories. And if anything is going to be explained in terms of story, we can understand it easily. But your story should be right, isn't it? Over here, you should know how to tell a story using data, how to explain data using visualizations, for example, your bar chart, pie chart, maybe you are using a table or some of the KPIs. So how you can focus on that? If you don't know, please do let us know in the comment section and we are gonna help you. We are gonna create a series of different videos where we are gonna explain how to tell a story using data. So this is very important part, so please do not skip that. Excel is another part where you should know how to work, how to work with a pivot, and also, please note that if you work with Power Query, then you would love to work with Excel. Excel uses formula language. And similarly, in Power Query, we use the text language. Excel uses the same Power Query to perform data analysis or to extract the data from the different sources. Same does Power BI too. So Excel and Power BI are very closely related. You should work on Excel. You should learn the formulas. I'm not saying that you should be expert in VB or so, but you should know at least basics of Excel so that you can start learning more. Now, last part in the journey of a data analyst is the certification. So you should appear for a certification exam. For example, Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Certification Exam, which is also known as PL300 exam. If you don't know how to pursue for this exam, you don't know what is it, then please do check the description section where I have already provided some of the cool stuffs where you would like to learn. This video is not paid. We have created all videos ourselves, but I'm also providing some of the references to learn SQL data wrangling, etc. Or you can search over Udemy, or maybe you can search simply on Google that what are the different sources where you can learn. Please do check the description section where you will find some really good examples and good videos to start learning for. Once you have learned tools and technologies, and also you have done your certification exam, then the next part comes preparing for the interview. So I have also created a series where I have explained some of the most frequently asked interview questions for a data analyst exam or a Power BI developer. If you need more, please do drop a comment in the comment section and I'm going to create more videos for you. Now, if you have completed all these three different steps, for example, first, you have learned all the tools and technologies. Secondly, you have appeared for the certification exam and thirdly, you have prepared for the interview questions. Now, this is also a time where you have to prepare one portfolio. For example, you have taken some of the data set from the Kaggle or from any other website and you have transformed it and you have analyzed the data. Then you have to put your code somewhere. You can use the Kaggle itself or you can use the GitHub or maybe you want to create your own website where you would, like, where you would like to display some of your project. 
end to end. For example, you have started from extracting of the data, then you have transformed it, you have processed it, analyzed it, and then you are visualizing data is using any of the data visualization tool, for example, Microsoft Power BI. So this part is very critical for you. Whenever you are going to appear for the, any of the interview, then they are gonna ask about your work. So if you have prepared well, even you are a fresher and you have your own portfolio, then they are gonna consider it as your experience and definitely they are gonna consider you. So guys, what are you waiting for? Now you know everything about how to become a data analyst and I'm telling you, this is the most secure job around the world and also highly paid job. Data is growing everywhere and it is growing at an unbelievable rate. It's going to be everywhere. No AI, no other technology can steal your job as a data analyst. So start working now, start preparing now and do let us know if you need any more help. We have our training programs, so don't forget to check them out. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this video, share this video and hit the thumbs up button. Till then, see you in the next video.